Hey guys, Steve here at Top Guns. I'm Jennifer. Today we're going to take just a few minutes to talk about a new rifle and a new manufacturer for us that we've never had here in the shop. TNW is the manufacturer, and that's the three letters TNW. And the name of the rifle that they've put out is called the Arrow Survival Rifle. I know you said there was a few features you liked about it in particular. Why don't you talk about those just a little bit? Uh, just coming straight out, it got the Glock 21 magazine. So I know seeing a lot working in here, people are coming in looking for the kel Sub-2000 and they want the one that has the Glock magazines. Yeah. So that's one thing that they've really done that's going to help out a lot just because you can get those mags anywhere. You know, and of course, uh, this particular one is in the 45 caliber and mm -hmm. certainly would take the Chris Vector extensions if they wanted to. If you got one in the 9mm, naturally Glock actually puts out uh, the extended mags for those in the 33 rounders. But, uh, but you know, one of my main concerns when we first got it in, and it was a brand new rifle, and, and I wasn't really sure what to think about it, my concern was that, is it going to jam? Mm -hmm. And we put how many rounds through it today total? Roughly 200, I'd say. So in 200 rounds, we didn't have one jam. That was all ball ammunition. Another neat feature, they did make the detachable barrels so that it's a relatively modular system. And you can change the barrels, you can change the bolts, and you can change uh, certainly the magazines to swap out for caliber. So it makes it a pretty neat system uh, for that for that person who's looking for a nice little compact survival rifle. You know, another one that they uh, that they came out with is the pistol version of it. And in in the pistol version, I'll be honest, I actually like, I like this one a little more uh, because it's so compact, but now of course with ATF coming out and saying that you can no longer shoulder the, mm -hmm. the stabilizing brakes, um, I don't know how appealing that is to people now at this point as to whether or not they want that. But uh, if it had ATF not put that out, I would say this would be my more desired unit. Since uh, legally we're not allowed to, to shoulder that, then I have to lean a little more towards the rifle. But uh, I love the compact size of this one, and I love the fact that it's a 45 that it takes Glock mags. Um, it's a perfect little home defense gun. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, <laughs> our limited experience here would be, would you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Thumbs up. Thumbs up for me too. Again, we didn't do any stress testing. Uh, we didn't do anything that, that tested lots of different ammo. So this is a very non-scientific review, but uh, we got out, we put some rounds down range. Recoil was very manageable. We didn't mention that. Uh, as you can see in the video, I thought the recoil wasn't bad at all, so uh, all in all, uh, nice job by these guys, and we'll be looking to see some more cool products in the future from them. Thanks as always for watching. Be sure to like, share, favorite, and subscribe. Take care.